The last week of school can be bittersweet for some teachers and students, but it's especially tough for Christ the King Elementary School. This is their last week ever. New at 5, Garrett Haig talked with parents about what they plan to do to help teachers. Yeah, Krista, after years of declining enrollment and financial pressure, the priest in charge of the Christ the King School made the decision to close the school completely back in April. That surprised teachers and parents alike. But now a group of parents are banding together to help the people who for decades have taken care of their children. As president of the Christ the King School Board, Jennifer Malone had just completed a business plan to help turn around the financially strapped school when she got the news from the parish priest. On April 12th, he decided to close the school via um, a letter that he sent out that evening. Families started the search for new schools and teachers for new jobs. The diocese told teachers they would be paid through July with some severance after that, but no unemployment. Our teachers have been given very little notice as far as, as well as the families, but teachers to find a new job. But we just wanted to give a gift um, to help them through the transitional process. And I said, why not build a website? Christopher Hake, a stay-at-home dad and web designer whose first grade daughter thrived at the school, joined the cause. And on Friday, Crusader Fund was born to give alumni and friends a way to support the teachers. You know, everybody else is going to find a place to go, but these teachers really haven't had time to be able to cultivate uh, any kind of new employment because they've been in school with our kids. Teachers like Kathy Field, who's taught elementary students for 27 years at Christ the King, learned about the fund just today. I think it's just a wonderful gesture on their part. It's just how much they valued the teachers here. And gosh, I can't thank them enough for entrusting their kids to us all these years. Obviously a very emotional scene there today at the school, which began its service in 1945, and where the current 91 students will have their last day on Friday. Now, for more information on how to donate to Crusader Fund, you can check out their website at crusaderfund.org or come to our website at kshb.com. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.